friends, welcome back to AMS Mobile Home Life. If you're new, welcome. In this video, uh, the weather's been so hot, I decided to make a nice cold uh, salad uh, with tuna in it. Uh, I will show you the ingredients, but I'll be make, making some cavatappi pasta. I have the water on right now for those. I'm just going to add a little salt to that, sorry. Alright. What I'm going to do, I have a block of New York style extra sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to use that up. I am going to cut it in strips like this and then cut it in squares. I'm adding different things to it, some things that I'm trying to use up, and others uh, that I'm just adding. So I'm going to get this cut up, and then now I'm going to cut it long lengthwise, and just do little like squares. So we'll get that. So they're all getting cut the same way, of course. Just cube them up. It is almost near 90 today here. I'm sorry if you hear the background noise, the AC is going. Uh, I have to keep it going. It gets very humid in here. So I hope it's not affecting the sound of me speaking. So it's going to be 90. It's not quite there yet. But that's what it's going to get to today. Still having the heat wave. There's a warning until Tuesday of air quality and heat advisory. So happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. My day started out, I don't know if you saw it, I did a short on Sunday sunrise. The sunrise was beautiful this morning, so I did a short and shared it. It was so pretty, a beautiful thing to wake up to. Every morning I, I just check, I, there's birds, different birds out there. It is a beautiful thing. Alright, so we got the cheese. I'm just going to put that into a little bowl. For now, to get it off the cutting board, instead of using a bunch of different cutting boards. Less dishes, the better. So I'm going to set that aside. Also, I have a tomato that I'm going to dice up. Those of you that know, I don't care for raw onion, so I am not going to add onion to this. Just the tomato, the cheese, and I gotta wait on the pasta. I'm gonna cut them a little smaller, some of them are big.
I think most of us are having a heat wave still. It's been crazy, the, the heat. And yesterday they were saying we the next seven days was going to be rain. Like right now, it's very cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain, but then all of a sudden the sun pops out. So who knows? All right, so we got tomato here. I'm going to set that aside. Also, I'm going to rinse this knife off. I have some kosher dill pickle spears. I'm going to cut one or two up in little pieces. I don't have relish, so I'm going to use the pickle. And I'm just going to cut it in small pieces. Simple, easy. Actually, the pickle's probably even better than relish. We'll see. There's another. Cut that end off. Yeah, I'm making this because with this heat wave, I really don't want to be using the oven anymore and cooking. Uh, to make the house hot, so I'm going to do one more. See if there's a smaller one. Try this one. One more. Pickles are good. Cut the end out of there. Alright, that should be good. Yeah, I'm just going to do quick things during this heat wave. I have like the chicken strips I shared with you guys one time that I bought at Walmart. Very good in the air fryer. That's a quick, simple meal and I can have the salad on the side. I have some corn on the cob I can make and put as a side. So... Everything is cut up and prepped. I have the tomatoes. Some cheddar cheese. And pickles. Once the pasta is ready, I will come back and we'll continue. Okay, my friends, the water's just about boiling. But first, I wanted to ask your opinion. If you would uh, leave your opinion in the comments, it would be greatly appreciated. I put that faux ivy on each corner of my coffee bar. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's too much? I have other ideas on where I could put it also. But for now, I wanted your opinion. I do have another strand or two. I was going to put one on top and drape it across also, but I think that'll be too much. Or should I just put some across the top? Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave it there for now. See how I like it. But otherwise, uh, let me know what you think. So I'm going to get this pasta cooked and I'll come back. Hello friends, I am back once again. I wanted to show you, I have another faux greenery of ivy in my bathroom window. I thought that looked really cute. It makes it pop a little bit. So that's where one of them are. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, you're welcome to tell me in the comments. 
All right, I am back. The pasta is cooked. What I did, I had some frozen peas and carrots at the end of the cook time for the cavatappi pasta. I dropped in some frozen um, peas and carrots in with the pasta and everything because they were still pretty frozen. So I pretty much kind of blanched them. So I just mixed them in. So that was a little portion package that I had of uh, peas and carrots. I'm gonna add the diced up tomato. The pickles. The cheese. And I also, I'm not gonna use the tuna. I mentioned tuna in the earlier in the video. I forgot that I have the diced ham. So I'm gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna add some of that. Maybe a little more. They're very tiny pieces. Let's see how that is. All right, I'm just gonna give it a good mix. I got my bigger spoon here. We're gonna give it a good mix. Okay. Nice and colorful. Next, I'm gonna add some mayonnaise. It's gonna need quite a bit. This will last me a while. I could eat this by itself for lunch. We're gonna mix that in until combined nicely. The spoon, I'm always flopping stuff out because the, the spoon bends. I'm good at making myself some good messes, as you guys know. I thought that was a big chunk. It just didn't separate. Alright. Look at that, guys. It looks good. Alright, let me rinse my hands off. Feel a little greasy. Now I'm going to add seasonings, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, And I'm not going to add salt because I'm using the stuff I love very much in these salads is celery salt. It's good in deviled eggs. I've said it before. You can use it for a lot of things. So I'm going to mix that through it, all of those. The pasta I cooked for seven minutes for al dente. And they're perfect. All right, I'm gonna get a fork. So 
so I could give it a try. Get some tomato in there. Come on, tomato. Bear with me. There we go. Mm. Oh boy, is that good. Oh, I just got a bite of the pickle. Let me see if I could get a bite with the ham in it. I think I'm going to add the rest of the ham. I'm not seeing much floating in there, so I'm just going to use it up. Better to use it than waste it, right? beautiful I could have add, added some bell pepper you could add celery you could add whatever you want actually there's so many things make it your own all right I think I'm gonna add a little more celery salt. That gives it such good flavor. All right. That is what it looks like. Give it another try. See if I can get some ham in there. There we go. Mm. It is perfect. I'm going to put some in this little bowl. And I'm going to have me some. Look at that. I didn't get a piece of cheese. There we go. Here's some cheese. Pasta. Come on. There we go. Mm. Guys, it is delicious. If I do say so myself. That bite with the cheese, ooh. You got that sharp cheddar bite in there. Very, very good. So there we go guys, that is my salad that I can eat for lunch as sides with chicken strips, I have hot dogs, I can make a burger with it, I also have corn on the cob, there's many different things I can make, I also have some ham left, I can have a ham sandwich, so I'll be all set for a while for meals that I don't have to go crazy and cook. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Once again, I hope you have an amazing, blessed Sunday, and I love you all. Bye-bye.